Welcome to Walk in the Light with Pastor Ben Thomas, lead pastor of Queen's Church of God, New York. In this teaching, we hope that you will have an encounter with God and discover your purpose in life by this practical teaching of our pastor. You are welcome to call us to the number on the screen for our prayer. If you like this teaching, you will be able to get connect with Pastor Ben Thomas through our website at www.qcog.org or www.benthomas.tv. Let's join the teaching of our pastor which is recorded live from Queen's Church of God, New York. Thank you. We are learning the kingdom of God. Until and unless you and I understand the meaning and the concept of the kingdom of God, your life will not be fruitful in the king in this world the purpose of God's God's creation human not for religion man made the religion God is looking for a personal relation with people God is not looking to build some religious entity. But God is in the process of building the kingdom. As the Bible reminds you and I, you and I are kings and priests. Bible teach. The purpose, the original purpose of creating human. With that in mind. But unfortunately, the power of darkness came and overshadowed it or took that purpose away. The conflict took place. This morning, I wanted to share some time spiritual conflict between two kingdoms. Spiritual conflict. If you have your Bible, turn with me to book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 28 to 34. Matthew 8, 28 to 34, please. And when he came to the other side, to the country of the Galilees, two demon-possessed men met him, coming out of the tomb, so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, what have, you, what have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a herd of many pigs was feeding at some distance from them. And the demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, send us away into the herd of pigs. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the pigs. And behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the waters. The herdsmen fled, and going into the city, they told everything, especially what had happened to the demon-possessed men. And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their region. Verse 29. What do you want with us, son of God? Shouted. Have you come here to torture us before the appointed time? So the demon, demon knows there is an appointed time for this what to be over. Jesus did not stop there. So the two kingdom is coming in one person. Two kingdom is working in one person. That conflict. That kingdom is here. Two kingdom, they are here. 
They are here right this minute. Both the kingdom is struggling. Both kingdom is fighting. Both kingdom is attacking each other in this world. You will see that in your life. I will see every single day in my life. So the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness is fighting each other. They both have a purpose. They both have an agenda. Now, how does this kingdom work? You are part of organizations. You are part of some kind of organization. Either you work in a company, they have some union or some other organization you are connected to. You join an organization by filling out an application. You become member of that organization. But any one of you ever become a son or a daughter by signing an agreement to a father and mother anyone no. you need to be born into the family to become a child of that family you cannot yes adoption is there I understand that we are adopted by the way So to become a child in a family, you need to be born into that family. So to make God as your father, you need to be born in the family of God. That is called born again experience. You cannot sign a paper and become a family of God. You cannot write a membership card and become. Yes, that is why I said God did not send his son to this world to establish a religion. You might be a member of a religious faith organization that doesn't guarantee heaven. That doesn't guarantee sonship. You cannot call up a father unless you are born again. God did not came, he did not send his son to this world so you can have a religion. God is expecting you and I to call him our father. The God's kingdom, the way God's kingdom works is you become a child of God, sons and daughters of God by being born again into that family. If there is anyone who acts who attending this service and watching us in live stream, if you never experienced that born again experience, my friend, you are still in the kingdom of darkness. You need to give your life to Christ and become a child of God by confessing your sin in the presence of God. The way you become Part of this kingdom is born again into this family. Hallelujah. I understand this is a Sunday morning service. I understand majority is sitting here born again, spirit filled the believers. But I, my, as a minister of the word of God, my assignment to declare the word of God. So if there is anyone assuming because you're sitting in a church, you will be in heaven, child of God. You are mistaken. Hallelujah. The second way or second thing in that process is spiritual things or the kingdom, kingdom ideas or kingdom uh, informations cannot be comprehended by our head. You cannot understand or comprehend the knowledge of the kingdom by reading some books. It must come as a revelation. 
One time one person came and asked Abinikram, how do you know there is God? He replied, in this Bible, it says in the beginning, God does settle it. If you try to reason, if you try to reason and try to figure things out in this world, the spiritual matters, my friend, I have a good news to tell you, it will not work. You need to have a revelation from God. Jesus and walking with the two disciples to go into your mouth in you know, Luke chapter 24. Bible says their eyes were blinded or covered. They did not understand. Some time later, when Jesus opened and they brought the bread, the eyes opened. My prayer is your inner eyes will open and the spiritual matters and the drink. Hallelujah. You understand the revelation and you receive the revelation of the kingdom of God into your life and my life. The power of the kingdom of God, the knowledge of the kingdom of God, the, the, the mysteries of the kingdom of God, the principle of the kingdom of God, it must be revealed to you by God. I can talk about it, but you're going to forget about it. I can talk about technology. Yes, you can read some books and understand it. But about God, because He is spirit, your spiritual eyes must be open and get connected to God. When God opens your inner eyes, I don't really care either any one of you believe it. I believe in the power of God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in eternity. But God came to me and revealed that to me. You are not an ordinary person. You are born in the kingdom of God. You are a child of the Most High. You are part of the kingdom of God. Give him praise in the sanctuary. So I spoke to you about one kingdom. Let me explain. There are many things about the time won't allow me. In the days to come, we will touch it. Let me talk about the power of darkness. The kingdom of darkness, how does that work? In a couple of points. And I go from there. <coughs> how the kingdom of darkness work? Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Ephesians 2, verses 1 and 2, please. As for you, you are dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work and those who are disobedient. The first thing I wanted to tell you is the way the kingdom of darkness work is through ignorance. Ignorance. In the Bible, darkness is ignorance and the light is the revelation of God. Ignorance. If I ask you, none of you might have it. Can I? Don't lift your hand here at the church. If you have a pack of cigarettes, take a look at it. I know you don't have it. People who are watching live stream, they might say, yeah, Pastor Ben's church has cigarettes then. No. If you take a pack of cigarettes, I don't know exactly what it says in nowadays, I believe nowadays it says, if you smoke this, you will have cancer and you die. It clearly written on the package of that cigarette, if you eat, if you smoke this, you will die with cancer. But I don't understand the package too three packets, cigarettes, every single day. Are they not reading that? <laughs> if they read, if they read the package, information on that package, if they read the information on that package, 
they will never smoke that cigarette. But the devil bring the ignorance, ignorance. This is why people sin. If you know the consequences, if you know the consequences of the result, what will happen if I do this? You will never do it. But the devil brought ignorance to the people. People become ignorant. Once you become ignorant, you will do anything. Satan works through ignorance. Ignorance. Minus 20, don't put a jacket to go outside, you get pneumonia. Ignorance. So in this world, many of us, sometime when we come, devil works through ignorance. Because of the ignorance of people follow it and they will do it. The second thing I want to share with you, the way the devil works, the kingdom of darkness works, is disobedience. Disobedience. Everything has a principle. All system runs through principles. When you go and sit in a car, you got to put seatbelt on. Principle. I don't know, you've been to other country, thank God for United States. I remember one time, my God, I never want to go back there. I remember I was in an intersection. Under a bridge, one intersection. I was just close my eyes and put my eyes, make sure I didn't want to see it. <laughs> Literally thousands of cars in one intersection. They all go in, nobody hit. I don't know how they do. There's a traffic light there, there's a lanes there, the march there, but nobody following it. Disobedience to the system. Disobedience, there are young people. Is that me here? No, she just got the license. She was driving her car today. I said, I'm moving out from Nassau. There are rules that must be followed. There's law must be followed. But the Satan will tell you, you don't need to follow this rule. In family, God put a stretcher. In the church, God put a stretcher. In relations, God put a stretcher. One instruction, this is the way, this is the level, this is the way it's supposed to. I remember a long time ago when I was preaching, one time I used this. You can go to your State building and jump. And you can speak in tongue, you can pray, you can cry God, but you're going to fall on the ground and you're going to die because you broke the law principle, the law of gravity. But the devil will tell you, you break it. Devil will tell you the kingdom of darkness work by breaking the rules. The third thing, the devil works through control. Control. Any spiritual authority control you. Stay away from it. Cult works that way. Cult. There are many cult. 1980s, David Correll's in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a uh, Texas, Waco, Texas. Abuse the people or 80 people in the congregation. Put them underground, abuse them and control them. Any spiritual authority control you, try to control you. That is not from the Lord. Devil works to that way. My assignment is to remind you the word of God, teach you the word of God, equip you so you will grow and we will grow together. That is the purpose of the kingdom of God. But the devil works the other way. He wants to control. Control. 
So stay away from anything that try to control you and I. So that the both the kingdom is reigning over. This both the kingdom pattern is going. This both the kingdom trying to take over. This both the kingdom is trying to take control of your life and my life. But you are in the kingdom of God. You are a child of God redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. You became part of the kingdom of God. Jesus is your master. God is your father. Abba Father, my Father is in heaven. Hallowed be your name. God gave us a relationship. You can call the Creator God Abba, Dad. How great that is. But the devil will tell you, no, you are a sinner, you cannot do that. But I will tell the devil, no, the devil he is my, my father. I'll call him. I have the right to call him. I have the privilege to call him. I am born in this kingdom. So the work of the kingdom was reigning over this world. When Adam gave the key or Adam gave the authority to Satan Lucifer, he took over this kingdom. But Bible reminds us Jesus came to this world. He came to this world not to establish a religion. He came to destroy the work of the enemy. He came to establish a kingdom into your life. Jesus came to this world to establish a kingdom, a kingdom of God into your life. Praise God. What did Jesus do? Colossians chapter 2 verse 15, praise God. Colossians 2 15. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. And having the sound of powers and darkness authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. See, many of us think the cross was a failure. Many of you and I think the cross was a, was a defeat of us. God. My friend, I want you to know cross was not a failure. Cross was not a defeat. Cross was in the plan of God. Cross was in the eternal plan of God. But God hide that because if he said that before, Satan will not or would, did not, would not kill him on the cross. Book of Acts says that if they knew, if he knew, he would crucify him. My Jesus had to go on the cross because through that cross, the process of the death and resurrection, I accomplished many things and God accomplished many, many things. Hallelujah. Praise God. What happened on the cross? As I just heard, and having the sound of powers and authorities, the powers and authority of the kingdom of darkness, powers and authority of the kingdom of darkness was defeated on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. On the cross of Calvary, the powers of darkness was defeated. We think Jesus will no, my friend. If you read the Bible, if you study the Bible, you understand that Jesus was taking victory over it. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Satan was a defeater on the throne, on the cross of Calvary. There are many passages in the Bible you will be able to understand, read that. To establish a kingdom, Jesus came. The enemy was conquering at any moment, reigning over humankind. Because Adam sinned and gave the key, the authority, the dominion authority to Satan. When Jesus came to this world on the cross of Calvary, when he died on the cross of Calvary, Jesus defeated Satan. The second thing, Jesus dethroned the Satan's authority. He was sitting on the throne. He was reigning over. Some of us sitting here might be still devil claiming your life today. You need to declare over your life. No, 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 no. My Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. On the cross, he said, 
be free. I'm a child of God. He was sitting on the throne. He even came to Jesus and bowed down to me. Think about it. Satan can Lucifer came to Jesus and bow down to me. I'll give you all this. Many of you, corporate America is telling you, bow down to me. I'll give you all this. I was there. That is why I'm sharing this with you. Do not allow the corporate America to kill your destiny. Do not allow the mama and the money to destroy your relation with the God. Do not allow anything in this world to destroy what God God's plan about your life and my life. God has a plan. The plan is eternity. God has a purpose and the purpose is to build the kingdom of God. God has a plan about your life that is joy and peace in this world. Hallelujah! The world cannot give you that. Praise God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, God. On the cross of Calvary, God said, No, your throne is no more. He doesn't have a throne anymore, okay? I want you to know, see, Satan doesn't have a throne anymore. On the cross, Jesus pushed him out. You cannot sit there anymore. Do not allow him to sit on your throne. Do not allow him to reign over your family. Do not make a throne and put him there. Tell him to get out from my family. Get out from my house. Get out from the church. In the name of Jesus, let the name of Jesus reign over your life. Let the power of the kingdom of God reign over your life. Just close your eyes for a minute. Just close your eyes for a minute. I, I, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not through. Just close your eyes for a minute. Just to pray to God. Just pray to God. Hallelujah. Just to pray to God. Hallelujah. Satan, God said, no, no, no. You cannot sit there anymore. I am establishing the kingdom of God. You cannot sit there anymore. Hallelujah. To the King of kings and the Lord of lords. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, when Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, the enemy was reigning over this world. Hallelujah! The purpose of the kingdom of God was not there anymore. But Jesus came. He is finished. Whatever I need to accomplish, put the kingdom back to this world. I am accomplishing today. In the name of Jesus, I declare that all your life today, every family, is open in this service. I will. Jesus, Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. Please. Colossians 2, 15. I know we just read that. Read that again. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. Revelation 12, 10, please. One more. Revelation 12, 10. Revelation 12, 10.
Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have, now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of this Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters, who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, Jesus disarmed Satan. Colossians 2.15 says, And having disarmed the powers of the, of the powers and authorities, disarmed, took that weapon away, took the weapons away, took everything away, took everything away. Jesus said, No, you cannot do this to my people anymore. He disarmed. That is why we pray when we declare the power of the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. That is why we mention the blood of Jesus Christ. Satan trumpers. That is why in the name of Jesus, every demonic attack and the power of darkness will leave. That is why the passage we read to you in the beginning when Jesus came there, the demons say, You are you to why you came early to torment us. Jesus on the cross of Calvary, he disarmed to call the weapons away. Now, Pastor, you just say he disarmed, then why did he suffer? Big theological question. You gotta sit with me for many hours to understand, to explain that. I don't have the time to explain the whole detail. Legally, he accomplished on the cross of Calvary. He still have certain rights. Certain rights. Three ways he attacked a believer. Number one, through temptation. Satan still work against the people of God through Temptation. Temptation and a test is two different things. God will never tempt us, He will test us. Like I said, it's very hard to explain. It takes hours to explain. Yes, it is possible, it is it is possible to explain, but in more time. The best way to explain that to you is without a test, there is no growth. Without a test, there is no graduation. Without a test, there is no increase. So the test is there. What I don't like is God gave the test paper to the devil to do it. He will change, Satan will change the test into temptation. That is why the Bible says everything, all things will work out for good at the end. That process time when God wanted to test me, Satan take it and tempted me with it. When that temptation come, I fall into it. When I fall into it, I fail in the presence of God. But the Bible clearly says he will not tempt us or test us beyond our limitation. We have the blood of Jesus available. We have the power of God available. We have the presence of Jesus Christ is available. When you resist, there is no temptation. You will not be able to stand. You can stand in any temptation that comes in our bed. Satan will do that. The second way he attack is through persecution. Persecution is taking place all over the world now. In Christian history, probably more people or most numbers of people dying for the cause of Christ in this generation. Thank God for the Western countries. Thank God for the capitalist countries so thank God for the I don't want to say democratic country anymore because India is the largest democratic country but they are 
torturing and killing and killing and Christians now and nobody asking anything so democracy cannot save anybody understand that but my Bible says in the last days the persecution will increase and they will kill you and they will say I sacrifice you for my God that's exactly taking place all over the world. Pray for the persecution church, suffering believers all over the world. While we are freely worshipping God, while we complaining about every single thing in our life, there are people in this world suffering and standing. Oh my God, they're giving their life for the cause of Christ. Understand that. The third way enemy attack now is accusation. Accusation. I've been told about an employee in a workplace. This employee doesn't like to work. I'm sure you have many in your place. This employee make up stories. A story is made up and that employee goes and tell 10 people the same story. That story become real. One of the toughest situation now and every nation is facing is social media. Very soon I hope there's a law come in every nation. Now, if I make a statement or I say something about an employee, anyone in the world, if I can put that in a Facebook or any other social media, within second, passed on, passed on, passed on, millions of people watch it or read it and they believe it. And that become news of the society. That is called accusation. Accusation. He said, she said. Do you know? Are you an eyewitness? No. He said, she said. Accusation. Satan works through accusing. This two kingdom is going parallel until there is a time appointed. So let me come back to the passage I read to you in the beginning. Jesus walk came to the other side. Two demon possessed men came from the tomb. They are in the tomb. Because of ignorance, they have a home. They're supposed to be at home. I remember a long time ago, one person went to a bar, sat there to drink. One bar attender came and picked up the Bible and gave it. Read this Bible. You don't belong here. Read this Bible and get saved. Can you imagine? So he was not there, supposed to be at home, but this person was in the tomb. But the demon said, I will not leave this person. There's a time appointed. But God said, no. Jesus said, no. Jesus said, come out of these people. When he did it, They came out, the enemy, that demon should came out and the person was free. Two kingdoms. Two kingdoms. But we are the children of God. We are the family of God. I'm going to stop you. I'm not done. 
works. I need to finish everything. Thank you for listening to Walk in the Light with Ben Thomas. You'll be able to get more of Pastor Ben's teaching from www.qcog.org or benthomas.tv. Have a blessed day.